welcome. Well, you are at home with Jim and Joy, and we're delighted that you have tuned us in. You are an important part of our EWTN family, and we want to hear from you. All you need to do is send us an email, jimandjoy at EWTN.com. Well, today, a fun day. Absolutely. We will have with us Len Marino, who is the vice president of creative services here at EWTN. So maybe you've seen some different things on EWTN and you say, well, that's different, that's new. Yeah. Where did that come from? <clears throat> it came from that great department where they have great people doing a great, great They're creative work. people. They're so creative. Not, I'm not creative person. See, I'm, I'm a pasta and sauce, meat and potatoes. I'm not very creative, but Len Marino's creative. He's and creative. that team is very creative. Very creative. Yeah, I'm just thinking back, uh, it seems like a couple of months ago when we had the March for Life. You know, like all that, the graphics that come up and the sounds that are being done, the images that are there, I guess that goes through creative services. Mm -hmm. And there was one particular uh, video, short video that came up before the March for Life. It was Chris Stefanik, who's a friend of EWTN. And that little spot was airing there before the March for Life. He's a wonderful communicator. Mm -hmm. So he gets on there communicating the gospel of life, pro-life message, March for Life message, doing such a great job incredible graphics of fetal development and I'm just so thrilled because when do we see mm -hmm. fetal development on regular TV shows? Mm -hmm. So that's all going up. He's explaining fetal development. He's explaining uh, the humanity, the personhood of the unborn. He's sharing about women in crisis pregnancy and what what uh, the pro-life movement does for them. He's speaking about young people, a new generation of life. He's getting ready to speak to 8,000 uh, young people and this other place has you know more than that in it. And this is all being done in a couple of minutes. I mean, just the power of, of filmmaking mm -hmm. and, and a little short film. At the end of that thing, I said, I, I just got to post this. You know, I put mm -hmm. it up on Facebook, posted it out to Twitter, and, and went to people who are pro-life, pro-choice, whatever. And I start getting some messages back. Hey, I've uploaded this too. It starts spreading around. Mm -hmm. And again, just to say creative services and short videos and and things of this sort and how quickly a message can be communicated, how powerful it is, and especially with this millennial generation, age 18 through 34 or five, whatever mm -hmm. it is, you know, we were working with- We're our, not millennials. We're not millennials. Mm -hmm. We're, I guess- We're, we're baby boomers. We're post-millennial. We're all- uh, We're boomers. <laughs> that's what we are. Um, but, uh, you know, working with uh, a group of young people and uh, students and trying to recruit them into the media missionaries, which you'll be seeing a video on the media missionaries. We want you to join. And in speaking to these people that are working with millennials, and I'm saying, well, you know, you can see this or see my show or our show. And so they said, you know, we don't watch TV. So you don't watch TV. Mm -hmm. Like, what you mean? No, all of our stuff is like on demand and we go someplace and we just kind of get it. Or we go to YouTube. It's like this get generation is phones. so visual, yes. short, there, get the message, but if it grips them, they'll share it. Right, and that is the power of, that, of, of those images when you see something. It grabs you, an image is meant to take you in so you can see it and go, well, what is that? What, how, did, how did that come about? What is that about when you see it? And it takes you a step further that then would be an unveiling, hopefully, yeah. of great truth yeah. and change our lives. So another spot on EW10 the other day, it was just like this rectangle with all these faces in it. And then they came up on the face, the face came forth and said, you know, I'm an artist, I'm a construction person, I'm this, I'm that. And then it comes back to those people and say, and I'm Catholic, I'm Catholic, I'm Catholic, and I'm cool. Mm -hmm. And so I spoke to Len, I said, that's a great spot that you all did. And somebody goes, we didn't do that spot. And these, this was one of the submissions by people who were involved with the Cool to be Catholic project, mm -hmm. which Len's gonna share with us about, which we want you to be involved in. And I don't even know if it was one that won, but uh, we were airing some young person's video on EWTN that was just simply outstanding. Well, we want you to be a part of our show. So you can always send us an email, jimandjoy at EWTN.com. If you have any questions for Len or you would love to speak with him, just send us an email, jimandjoy at EWTN.com. When we come back, we will have Len Marino, who is the Vice President of Creative Services, right here at EWTN. And Len is a cool Catholic. Don't He's go away. Cool we'll be right Catholic. back.
Welcome back. Well, you are an important part of our EWTN family, and we would love to hear from you. If you have a question for today's guest, Len Marino, you can send us an email, jimandjoy at EWTN.com, and hopefully we will use your question right here on the air. Well, today it is my pleasure and joy to introduce to you, now we had Len and his beautiful wife Lorna on about a year ago during yeah. the Christmas season, mm -hmm, yeah. right? Yep. So he should be familiar to you. Maybe you've seen him in some commercials, but he is Len Marino. He is the Vice President of Creative Services right here at EWTN. Len, welcome to At Home with Jim and Joy. Well, it's good to be here. It's Again. good to have you. Again. Yes. I, I, I don't think I wore this the last time. <laughs> no. no, a new new suit, new, new, suit. new, new presence. Very nice. Yes. Well, why don't you tell our family at home a little bit about who you are, how you got to EWTN with all of your resume. Here you are here at EWTN. Well, I mean, I came from, my family was, uh, my dad started in advertising, so always, always was exposed to commercials and print ads. In fact, he often drafted my brother and I for free to appear in certain ads. This is long before unions <laughs> represented kids and mm -hmm. things. But I always had a, a love for short form advertising, commercials, print, things like that. And, um, you know, that's uh, pretty much from college until right now, that's all I've ever done. But how I got here was um, very, uh, I always say it's almost like St. Paul. Um, where he was thrown from the horse, uh, I was thrown from a motorcycle. I had a near-fatal motorcycle accident, and a, then shortly after that, prostate cancer. And both survived, you know, mm -hmm. I survived both. Okay. This is about, you know, seven, eight years ago. And that was the beginning of a journey back to my faith. I'd all, I've always been a Catholic, I've always gone to church. But I really didn't take advantage of all of the wonderful things that is the Catholic faith until after that. Because essentially all I could do after I got put back together from the motorcycle accident was walk to church. Mm -hmm. And I would go to mass daily with my wife. And then eventually I could walk longer and I would go to this monastery and I would, you know, pray the rosary. And I, I really began, you know, recapturing my faith. And I was so grateful to God, you know. Uh, I was wondering why the heck did you spare me? But mm -hmm. uh, obviously, yeah. uh, to 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 continue whatever the heck I was doing. Mm -hmm. So you know, I, I became friends in Denver. I became friends with Bishop Connolly. I'm not sure he's now the uh, Bishop of uh, Lincoln, Nebraska. Okay. And he and I became friends. I got very involved with the Catholic community. And one day, I was having a conversation with him, and I said, I need to do more uh, with what I do, with my talents, with what God gave me for my faith. And I said, I'm thinking of. EWTN, and I was exposed to EWTN because my wife and daughter watched Mother Angelica, and I would kind of look out of the corner of my eye. And he said, well, I'm, I'm having lunch with Michael Wasson in two weeks, and why don't I you know, put in a word? And I said, well, let me send him some material and things like that. And a few weeks after that, Michael called me, and first he said, look, you know, before we get started on a conversation, I just want to say whatever you're paying Bishop Connolly, you need to double it as your <laughs> agent. <laughs> And so that began the conversation, and first I started as a, uh, a contractor here, as a consultant, and then they made me the offer for the job you know, mm -hmm. that I now hold. And so now you live truth and you live Catholic? I live truth and I live Catholic. And that's In really, Birmingham. Yeah, In that's Birmingham, great. with beautiful Lorna. With my lovely wife, yes. That's yeah. right. But live truth, live Catholic is something we see. Yes. In, in print, we see it on EW10 on and various spots, so that's really a you message. You hear it on the radio. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the radio guys have it on their tag, too, on their ID. Yeah, and it's a call to those who aren't Catholic to unite with us, but it's also a call to Catholics, isn't it? Mm -hmm. To actually, like you, like you said, you know, I was always Catholic. I'm baptized Catholic, confirmed, but I really wasn't quite living the truth. I wasn't living Catholic, and that's kind of the, the real way we need to be as Catholics. Mm -hmm. So tell us more about, uh, or tell us something about creative services. I mean, I'm, we're part of the... Uh, EW10 here, and yet we ourselves don't know all that it does and what goes through it. And so tell us about what it does, its mission, your staff, and what's happening. Well, I mean, I just, uh, I'm very blessed to lead a staff. I have a great staff. Um, I have J.B. Brown, who heads up the uh, on-air promotions department. Yeah. Maria Kaspersky, who heads up the on-air you know, graphic design. Uh, Liz Malcolm, who's my director of creative services. And uh, we have uh, Louise um, Webb, who does our web design and, and, and is tremendously talented. 
I've got uh, Marianne uh, Charles, who is our print person. Yeah. I mean, all the print ads we do in the various publications. You'll see some work here um, by people. Uh, you know, Karen Schmall, who works in our and works on all of our. If you go to catalog, you see all of our stuff there. But basically, what EWTN Creative Services is is almost like an in-house ad agency. So everything that you see on the air, we do the opens for the shows. Uh, we will do the stuff you see between the shows, from religious interstitial. Those are those you know faith-based mm -hmm. uh, pieces to the promos. To the IDs themselves, you know, the globe coming in and, you know, the announcer saying EWTN, yeah. live truth, live Catholic. And I think just, a, I think pictures always are better than a description. So I, I've, uh, Maria and her group have put together a graphics uh, presentation. I'd like if we can roll that now and it'll right. give us a better idea and then we come back and talk some more. Let's go to it. <laughs> Well, incredibly, so incredibly moving to see all of those images and writing underneath it. Not many words spoken, but so much conveyed through the eye. And I'm just wondering, you know, when were these things done? I mean, it seems like it would take years to do them or something. No, no, over the last year, year and a half. But Ivan Ruiz, who's one of our designers, very talented young man, he put the piece together Beautiful. this morning Thank to put you. all of it together. But that's the work of Ivan. Uh, of Sam Zamoron, mm -hmm. um, of Elizabeth, um, and um, and then Judy uh, Ranelli, who mm -hmm. is the uh, sister of uh, of Kathy, Kathy Ranelli, mm -hmm. who is the coordinating producer on the mm -hmm. show. Mm -hmm. You know, as we're looking at those beautiful 
images and thinking about EW10 over the years, which has always had you know beautiful spots and graphics. It reminds me of marriage encounter making good marriages better, and it really seems like our spots and everything that we're seeing is just going from good to better to better. And how do you come to the conclusion about spots and what what grabs people and what do you think about? Uh, what are the discussions like when you're trying to convey something through these videos? I mean, the first thing you talk about and, you know, what we typically do is we meet as a group um, and we, you know, we talk about the particular project, but what is the end game? You know, what is the end message? And then we work back from there. Okay. Um, and that's, that's critical. What is, you, you're really getting it down to the essence because we've got 30 seconds, a minute, two minutes mm -hmm. tops. I mean, we deal in short attention span theater. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, that's what we deal with. Um, and um, so it's important that what we usually do after that is we'll put a brief together looking at our goals for the particular project, a tagline, et cetera. Well, you know, our children watch EWTN, and um, Anna, one of our daughters, said she could tell that things had started changing. Like, it, they were almost like commercials, right? Mm -hmm. So it's because like, you said you're an in-house ad agency right, right here at EWTN. So we don't have commercials, so we create our own mm -hmm. uh, and ways just to promote EWTN. And then all the beautiful apostolates mm -hmm. that flow from this great place. So these were like, what, what would you call these, like roll-in pieces? Well, some of those are open, some of those are pieces okay. of, uh, of spots. Okay. Oh, and and uh, you saw the little uh, animated character in there. That's a series we do, Tomkin. Okay. I'll get into that later. But you mentioned commercials. You mentioned what they are, are promo promos. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I've got a, we've got a new promo here for Web of Faith 2.0 that was done by Dennis Leslie, who's in uh, J.B. Brown's group. Okay. And let's roll it now. You'll see this is 30 seconds. And again, you'll see that, okay, we've got to get a message across in 30 seconds. Right. And see what you think. The questions are always there. They're never decreasing. They're insightful. They show that people are intelligent and also that they're, they're searching. It's more than just academic Q&A. Web of Faith 2.0 is a search for truth. People are very interested about their faith and they really want and desire the truth. So that's very inspiring for us. When you're searching for answers, where do you turn? Web of Faith 2.0, all new episodes on the Global Catholic Network, EWTN. Well, we had the privilege of having Father Tregilio, um back on our show, mm -hmm. and you know they were talking about Web of Faith and how you know, how people are really learning their faith through watching EWTN, which has been Mother's greatest gift to the Catholic Church, that she can catechize Catholics who have been lifelong Catholics but did not understand their faith, don't read the Bible, don't understand the power of the sacraments, don't understand the need for confession. And here E.W. Chen brings a great show like that where you could email a priest, mm -hmm. right, how beautiful that is, mm -hmm. and say, so tell me about this and answer that question, right? I mean, what we want to do is get people to watch it. Now, if you notice, a lot of this stuff is uh, shot. We have original photography, and Russell Shaver, who is one of our uh, designers and DPs, he, uh, you know, he, the images that he captures, I mean, really has elevated our, you know, our stuff. And mm -hmm. uh, again, we want to be able to get the message out simply, cleanly, you know, and, and be pleasing to the eye. I mean, that's really, uh, you know, the other thing. Um, the best compliment that I can get from anybody is your, your material looks better than the shows or the, you know, I mean, that to me is, is a compliment. If we can, if we can really highlight that program, you know, like it's, um, it's a soft drink or it's a, it's a piece of commercial mm -hmm. property. If we can highlight the way they do on a, on a, on a uh, secular network. And I, I don't mean to, you know, want to say go down that road, but I mean, if we can elevate Christ, if we can elevate Christ's work, mm -hmm. if we can elevate our mission to that, then we've done our job and that's what we do But here. the beauty of that is when someone is surfing the, you know, surfing channels and they'll, they'll look at it and go, is that Catholic? And they take a second look. Mm -hmm. Is that what the Catholic Church is? I'm Catholic, but I hadn't been in a Catholic Church in so long. Oh, look at these Catholics. And it's cool to be Catholic. Or they're looking at something and saying they're young as opposed to some people, their view and their vision of the Catholic Church is filled with all gray-haired people 
but that's not. It, there's there's a whole nother generation coming up before us, as we saw in the great explosion at the March for Life, mm -hmm. right? So to capture all those and to and to make it matter for every generation, right? So EWTN does things for children. It has things for young adults. It has things for those on the journey, for marriage, family. And has gray hair people. And has gray hair people, although you don't have any gray hair. <laughs> no, but those gray haired people, right. if, if we existed just for the gray haired people, that would be a blessing. I heard somebody say with an EWTN, but we try to reach every age range, every stage, and each one of them are unique in what they're facing in terms of life, in terms of the culture. Well, I think you want to bring people in in stages, and I think that uh, EWTN in its programming uh, has um, something for all those age groups, yeah, and, I, and our job is to bring them to that. Right. You know, we have uh, an animated series called Tomkin. I mean, this is... Um, a little piece here that uh, Sam and Karen did. It's a coloring book that we gave out at the family celebration, mm -hmm. but this is based on something we'll roll in a, in a, in a minute. And it's geared at uh, infants, and mm -hmm. you know, up to about three or four yeah. years old, maybe mm -hmm. a little older, but it's a great, it, what it is are Catholic lessons. Mm -hmm. We'll see one on faith in, in a moment. And the other thing that we've got, of course, Jim, yeah. you know, you're involved in this, is reaching out in the, uh, to the media missionaries. Right and really hitting all the demographics in that area. And we have a spot that, you know, we shot for you uh, a couple of months ago. Yeah. Uh, that well, we've uh, been getting such a response from that spot. Um, and I don't know which one we want to show first, but yeah, because you really see people in their kind of high school age and then, then uh, young moms mm -hmm. and you see seniors and, and then you've got uh, kind of, you know, 35 to 40 years old professional guy mm -hmm. there. And uh, that we want everybody from EWTN uh, not only to consume EWTN, but to distribute EWTN, so to speak, you know, mm -hmm. like what, what you're getting, you know, what, what you're seeing, what you're hearing now, pass this along. Pass it on, exactly. Whatever age you are. Spread your wings. Spread your, spread wings, your wings, distribute it. Well, let's go straight to Tomkin, because Tomkin is for little children, and we have lots of those in our family. <laughs> Hey there, Tompkin. Hi. Hmm. Impressive, Blaze. So, what are you two up to? Exercising our faith. <laughs> well, you're exercising all right, just not your faith. Huh? To exercise your faith, it takes a different kind of exercise, cowboy. Oh, like a race. Well, no, not exactly. Good, because Blaze is faster. Let me explain. Faith is one of the three theological virtues. Theologic? Theological virtue. It is a gift from God. Ooh, I love gifts. <laughs> Don't we all, cowboy? You see, God places these special gifts in our soul. By faith, we believe in God and desire to know Him and do what He asks of us. So, to exercise our faith, we need good faith exercises. Um, like prayer? Yep. When we pray, we exercise our faith. When we follow God's commandments, we exercise our faith. By doing good works of charity, we, we ex exercise our faith. Yes, and the more we study and learn about the faith, the stronger we grow, and then we're able to share our faith. I feel stronger already. <laughs> cool. <clears throat> Blaze, faith is also about humility. No showing off now. <laughs> and remember, exercise your gift of faith daily. Bye now. Goodbye. <laughs> Well, that is great stuff. Really enjoyed that. What we're going to do is we're going to go straight to a break, and when we come back, we will have more with Len Marino, the Vice President of Creative Services, right here, and you'll see all the great things that's going on at EWTN. Don't go away. We'll be right back.
Welcome back. Well, remember that we want you to be a part of our show. So if you have a question for Len, you can send us an email, jimandjoy at ewtn.com, and hopefully we will use your question right here on the air. Well, Len, right before we went to break, what did we see? You saw uh, one of the episodes of, uh, of Tomkin. He looks like one of our grandkids. Yeah, yeah. he does look like <laughs> James. That's, that's done, done totally in how Sam Zamron yeah. leads the charge on that. Uh, it's great stuff. All the animation is done here in Birmingham. Before we move on, I would like to say, and I always, I'm, I'm remiss in this, is that our production group, you know, the folks that bring you the programs, this program, the folks that brought you the, uh, the March for Life, all the programming, the live events, and the stuff that we do here in the studio, all top shelf guys and gals. Yeah. Totally. And we really, we would be, creative services wouldn't exist without them because without them, we wouldn't have anything to advertise. We are a team. That's we are so a just, team. I and really we, want to give a shout out to them. And we always say the audio lives matter around yes, here. Yes, that's right. Because they're great guys. <laughs> sound is good. It's a sight, sound, and motion off. medium. No joke, right? <laughs> and because so much goes into this, I mean, we all sit back home and we enjoy the fruit of the great work that happens here. But everything, it takes a lot of work. It's a lot of production. Um, it doesn't just happen. It's a lot of work, a lot of production, but it doesn't happen without you. <laughs> yeah. So you've invested in this great apostolate, and we hope that you are seeing something that really blesses you and builds up your life and the family. Len, one of the major projects that you were at the center of, I guess it was about a year ago, was Cool to be Catholic. Yeah. So please tell us what is Cool to be Catholic, well, how did the first year go, what's happening with it? We, uh, we have, we, and again, I'm blessed to be surrounded by very talented, creative people, and uh, we came up with a uh, campaign called Cool to be Catholic, C-O-O-L, letter number two, B, Catholic. And what it is, it's a uh, short film contest open to high school, college, and film and TV production students. Okay. Um, and what it is, is there's 30 and 60 second pieces, there's categories, you know, that we introduce them to, anything from the Eucharist to family to growing up uh, in, pro -life. in this pro-life mm -hmm. issues, mm -hmm. of course, mm -hmm. of course. But, uh, and also the big, uh, another one is, you know, what's it like to be a Catholic and be a millennial? What's it like to be a Catholic and be in high school or college mm -hmm. or even mm -hmm. film school? What's that like? And so we had, you know, this past year we had about uh, a little over 60 entries. We were able to bring in 30 of them for judging. Um, and we had uh, three winners. Mm -hmm. And we're going to be talking uh, to two of those today, the Morelli twins, mm -hmm. Anna and Emma, who are from Texas, who are in the college category, and then Rebecca Doyle, who is a recent graduate. She just graduated last year, you know, this, this year, from uh, USC Film School. Uh, so, um, you know, those are the, yeah. uh, the, the quality of work we got. And if you watch EWTN, what you will... Um, what you'll see during the course of the day are the 30 pieces. We try to schedule yeah. them, you know, throughout the week so folks at home can see the, the winners, but also the ones that, you know, call, that didn't, you know, yeah. uh, that there and were that runners That was one up. that I think I was referring to yes. at, the, mm -hmm. at the outset of the show. Mm -hmm. And it was just absolutely super. And I was so sure that it came from EWTN, but there's some creative people out there and mm -hmm. to tap them in that way. Mm -hmm. And uh, th this is a great thing for these young people mm -hmm. to think about their faith, to, to get it down, to do a little piece, to get it out there. It really gets inside of them. And who knows what the future holds for them. Well, we also did a spot for folks to, you know, it runs on the air, it runs on, our, you know, any of our other distribution platforms. If we want to roll that, it's the Cool to be Catholic commercial. It's 60 seconds. And it'll give you, in a very, very short uh, message, what the whole thing's about and also how to enter. Mm -hmm. Let's watch it. Catholic high school and college filmmakers. Want to get your work seen in over 265 million homes around the world? Then enter the Cool to be Catholic commercial contest. We're looking for original 30 and 60 second spots that focus on Catholic themes, family, Eucharistic adoration, the church, devotion, the challenges of being a young Catholic in today's world, and more. To find out more and to enter, Go to EWTN.com forward slash cool to be Catholic. Three grand prize winners will win an all expense paid trip to appear on a cool to be Catholic televised special. Welcome back. Well, that was great. And we at the 
at the family gathering, you had the winners, yes. right? Mm -hmm. And so you, we had them come, where they flew in, mm -hmm. um, and then they had their presentation. And the whole, all the people that were at the family gathering got to see for the first time these videos. Right. And they were unbelievable. Oh, they well, right now we have on the phone Emma and Anna Morelli, they're on the phone and they were winners. Yeah, they were the winners in the college category and they had a moving piece uh, about the Eucharist and I'm gonna let them tell you more about it but when you see it, um, it it's very, it, it's a, it, it'll choke you up. It's mm -hmm. real good stuff. Emma and Anna, you're on, right? You here? Yes, Can we're you, both, both well, here, we, yeah, we're both on. <laughs> well, thank you so much for making time to be with us. I think we're gonna see the spot first and then yeah, share let's with roll us. the spot. So we're gonna look at your spot. Powerful, peace, wonderful. Emma, Anna, thank you so much for the work that you did. And just uh, either one of you just share with us uh, how you heard about the campaign and how you got involved with it. Why did you select uh, the topic of the Eucharist? Well, how we happened to hear about it was there was this lady at church who actually told us about it. And, and, and at first we were like, um, I don't know if it, if we are that good enough to actually do that. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, um, so then we kind of was like, okay, well, well, we can give it a try. We'll just, we'll just see what happens. And so we kind of looked up different ideas and then we just, we just didn't do anything with it until what, July. Yeah. So actually, yeah. <laughs> and, and how we settled on the Eucharist was, um, well, it was, it was, it was, there had been, um, I don't know, Bob had given a talk one Sunday about the Eucharist. Mm -hmm. And we were both like, wow, this is really cool. But then how many people actually realize it is Christ Jesus mm -hmm. himself that you're receiving every single day? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Body, blood, soul, divinity. So we're like, hey, this is kind of every day, but also extraordinary. So let's just try to work on that. Yeah. And. And 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 so and so one Sunday no actually it 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 took us a couple of Sundays to to get all of the clips that we needed and then it took Emma um, it took you about a week about a week yeah to actually to actually put it all together and to actually make it that I yeah. actually make it that that powerful yeah it yeah. it um it it. To me, to me, she, she, to me, it was her, it was her job that took the longest and most, mm -hmm. and took the and took the hardest part to do Emma, because because yeah. she Emma is made the picture. Okay. that good. <laughs> well, I only edit what you give me, so. It's, 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 okay, we can't have arguing on. This yeah, side. no <laughs> arguing, guys. But uh, Len, you wanted to say something in particular yeah. about the piece, yeah. uh, Anna. As I recall, yes. and I was talking to your dad, please say hi uh, for me, but you, the picture yeah. of the Sacred Heart, you painted that, correct? Uh, yes, sir, I did. Yeah. I, I just wanted yeah. to give that a mm -hmm. shout out because mm -hmm. it, it was one of the things that when I was talking to you guys, I said, well, you, do, you, you know, you, do you have some kind of mm -hmm. uh, release for this? <laughs> and, you're, mm -hmm. and you guys went, what are you, the, what are you talking about? We, I painted yeah. that. And, it's just a beautiful piece, so I, I just yeah. wanted to give a shout out for that. And Emma and Anna, what was it like for you both when you heard from EWTN that 
you were actually winners? Uh, we actually ran. We actually ran screaming through the house. Like, <laughs> <laughs> that is fun. Now, have either yeah. of you ever done anything like this before, or was this your first time? This was our first time mm -hmm, doing anything this big. Yeah, yeah. It was, it, it was fun, and we did not know how many people were actually going to do it. So, and and so that's why. We were, we were both a tiny bit nervous about doing it because, be, because you were getting some missions from all around the world, and we were just this, these two sisters mm -hmm. out in the middle of Texas doing it. So it was kind of intimidating. <laughs> what would you say yeah. to, uh, you know, we got a whole other campaign now, so we're reaching out to people to participate. What would you say to the young people about giving it a shot? You, um, you really should. Um, Emma, would you have, what are your, I, I only have to say that it can be intimidating, but you'll, I mean, how do I say this? <laughs> Just do it. Don't Let's think about do it. it. Just mm -hmm. do it. Do you have Just plans do to do it. any you more filmmaking? It? you have any plans to do anything else like this? Um, if the opportunity arises, then yes, mm -hmm. we, we yes, will do it. Yeah. yeah. Because it's fun, and um, and and it's almost more fun just doing it and learning as mm. you do it. There than, you go. Well, Emma and Anna, thank you so much for your participation. It's a beautiful piece. Encourage others to get involved. Oh, thank you. God bless you. Thank you so much. Thank you both. Thank you. Thank you very much. Bye bye. You. God bless. They're so sweet, and when they came up on stage, they were so beautiful and. Uh, that was really, really sweet. I have twins, so I know how they kind of, they talk for each other. One starts a sentence, the other one finishes it. And they did that on stage at the family so gathering. That was, was the, so beautiful. Is that the college category? That's college. Now, okay. film school. Uh, and um, Rebecca is on the phone right now, from okay. what I understand. Okay. So, And Do Rebecca we... Doyle is the film school. She, like I said, graduated uh, from uh, USC. Let's watch it together. Now? Don't worry. Tell him I'm on my way. I was going to make it home to tuck you in. So, Rebecca, why that theme? We love it so much on At Home with uh, Jim and Joy, the theme of heroism and parenting. What led you to it? Yeah, thank you. Um, I'm really passionate about stories and themes about family and how important those family bonds are and how, you know, parents are everyday superheroes in our lives and even the small things like making it home in time to say goodnight is really a heroic deed to a young child and that quality time is so important. So that's really um, the message I wanted to get across in this piece. Who, who was the star in the film? Who's that guy? So the, the star is my good friend, Charlie Minikian. He actually uh, graduated Bishop and Catholic High School with me and um, attended NYU, and I went to USC, but we were both studying abroad in London at the same time in the same area, and so we were able to work together on that piece overseas, and it was um, one of many collaborations that we've had together, so that was really, really cool. Len, anything you want to say to Rebecca? Well, I know, you know, the thing that, uh, you know, when Rebecca came to uh, Birmingham, um, we, um, we talked, um, and I told her, I said, well, you know, here's a rundown of what's going to happen. And I told her there, you know, we're going to have mass. She was very excited about that. 
uh, that we were going to have Eucharistic adoration. Um, and it's, uh, it was so refreshing to have a young person so passionate about her faith. Mm -hmm. And it's evident by the, the work uh, that, uh, that she did here. But also, I, I, I know that Rebecca is uh, pretty involved with her faith out there and continues mm -hmm. to be involved. In fact, um, one of our contestants this year that's already signed up is, uh, I, I, Rebecca, do I have it right that you mentored this guy uh, and he's entered, he's also a USC mm -hmm. student. Great. Rebecca, yeah, I mean, I, uh -huh. I'm not sure. I think that's a great honor to be considered his mentor. I don't know if he considers it that, but I definitely am a strong advocate for him and have been putting a lot of effort into trying to connect him to the Catholics and Hollywood community. And I think he has a really bright future. So I'm really excited for him. Rebecca, what do you think a project like this uh, can do for the younger generation? What's the benefit of something like this and getting them involved to understand their faith and to spread it? Do you mean... Uh, yeah, can, is this something that could really or... catch on? I mean, it was meaningful for you. You're sharing it with somebody else. What could this do for fortifying the gospel and the Catholic faith in young people's lives? Well, you know, one of my missionary friends really wisely told me once that the first step in spreading the gospel is to live it with your own life. Mm. And so for people that are pursuing a career in filmmaking, um, you know, that's every part of your life, not just on Sundays in secret when, you know, no one in the industry sees you at church, that's in your work as well. And um, Chris Stefanik in our time in Alabama very wisely said, you know, God speaks through reality. Mm. And um, so finding those ways to incorporate it into our own lives and making sure that we're living out the gospel in our own lives, yeah. including in our work, I think is the first step in evangelization. So, Amen. Rebecca, thank you so much for your submission. It's wonderful. You are a winner. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Well, then, you want to continue the Cool to be Catholic conversation? What's your hopes for this year? Is it going to be expanding? Well, the, What's happening? You know, we're, we're still very much, we can, the contest still has to take place. It's U.S. entries only. We haven't expanded. There are rules, regulations, et cetera, in other countries and yeah. stuff that we're still exploring. But the hope it eventually is to go beyond the borders and go and get submissions from around the world. But for right now, for this year, again, we're taking submissions from the U.S. And in those same categories, uh, high school, college, and film school, okay. television production school. Uh, when is the deadline to get things in? Right now, I mean, <laughs> last year we, we moved it back, and we probably will again. But right now the deadline is, is July. But um, we'll see, you know. I mean, uh, the key here is to get as many entries as we yeah. can. And if we get a student that says, hey, listen, I, I had a busy summer schedule. I need two more weeks mm -hmm. or whatever, you know, we, we try to accommodate. It's, uh, it's, it's critical. Um, we did, you know, we can talk for a minute just okay. going back yeah. to, you know, spreading the, the word right. again is maybe, you know, is, is that media missionary message we were mm -hmm. getting out there and perhaps, uh, you know, circling back and, and looking at that because I think that's a, a great way to end this because our next phase of that is that uh, Spread Your Wings campaign. That's right. something that's okay. on, our, on our schedule. It's something that's very near and dear to you. Amen. Well, let's look at that uh, media missionary spot. We hope you'll watch it and then you go to EW10.com. Uh, click on that link that says missionary and that you'll join us in sharing the good news of Christ and his church with EW10. Real quick, the spot. My schedule is demanding, but it only takes me a few minutes every day during my lunch hour to share an email or post an update to Facebook. Whether you have the opportunity to share with customers, co-workers, or even social media followers, EWTN can help. They'll provide you with the free resources you need to make a difference. I'm a busy mom, but after I take my kids to school, I drop by my parish to make sure there's plenty of EWTN brochures and program guides. Sharing the good news is easy. Evangelization can be as simple as distributing free literature and information about EWTN to your fellow parishioners. To me, it's all about devotion and praying for EWTN and its mission. You can actively participate in EWTN's mission by offering prayers for the network even if you're homebound like me. I do my part by tweeting and posting about new shows coming to EWTN that appeal to my generation of Catholics. Let's face it, it can be tough out there for young Catholics trying to live out their faith. Spreading the good news about EWTN is an easy way for me to evangelize and support my peers. I'm an EWTN media missionary. 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 
It only takes a little to do a lot. If you've got a few minutes a day, you can become an EWTN Media Missionary. To find out more or to sign up, go to EWTNMissionaries.com. Len Marino, Creative Services, thank you so much for being with us. The great work Pleasure. that's being done there. We're going to go to a break. We'll be right back. Please don't go away. That was a lot there, Mr. Wonderful. Mr. Len Marino. Now, you can join us live right here at home. If you want to be a member of our studio audience, contact the EWTN Pilgrimage Department. Email pilgrimages at EWTN.com. Give them a jingle at 205-271-2966 and plan your trip in the year 2017 to EWTN. There's a lot going on oh, there is. in Irondale, Alabama, and then you can always go up to Hansville to the shrine to Mother's Resting Place. Father Leonard, it's always mm. good to see your face. Thanks oh, for being with It's good to see you all, again. too. Yeah. How are you doing? Your thoughts uh, about the show? Oh, I'm doing very well. Thanks be to God. Um, always, always blessed. You know, mm -hmm. that's all yeah. I can say. Um, well, oh, wonderful show. You know, Len Marino is doing phenomenal and incredible work in the Creative Services Department, and uh, he's brought the, all of that up to a whole new level. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, it's amazing uh, what, uh, what they're producing yeah. uh, these days. You know, it's, it's so captivating, so appealing to uh, people of all ages, you yeah. know, so, and especially to, uh, you know, to, to the younger people, too. Mm -hmm. yeah. you know, so, uh, so I'm really excited about what, what's going on. Well, yeah. it's just amazing to see, I guess it was all the roll-ins that they had, which lasted for I don't know how long. Yeah. And just all the work that goes into that, mm -hmm. the beauty of it, the production yeah. department helping to make things mm -hmm happen for the creative services and mm -hmm. and then i think len said that's that's just the last year of the stuff oh, yeah. that's been yeah. done there and i really hope uh our family out there mm -hmm. is is encouraged by the quality mm -hmm. sure. ever increasing yeah. quality of what ew10 mm -hmm. is putting forth and i i guess again i'm not a creative service guy mm -hmm. but i think if you're going to do something in spots it has to evoke something from you oh yeah and it seems like every one of those spots you know is evoking mm -hmm. you know hope whether it's a young person's thing or whether it's seniors and mm -hmm. other people telling their story of, of hurt mm -hmm. uh, he has some spots that people are writing in they actually oh, yeah. wrote letters to ew10 so, you know mm -hmm. i was thinking about committing suicide or i had an abortion and then i heard mother or i saw a show and i'm really encouraged and and it just kind of draws you in because like len said uh, we want them to look as good, if not better, than mm -hmm. the actual show itself so that people actually watch the meat, mm -hmm. you know, yeah, eat the right. meat yeah. of, of the show. Mm -hmm. And certainly yeah. they, they are doing that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, we're, we're just so blessed to have uh, a very talented and gifted staff, you know, uh, both in the creative services and in production. Um, it takes hours and hours and days to, uh, you know, to create all of the all of this material you know editing it and you know doing the anim animation behind it and uh yeah it's just just a just a, a lot of time but but we we're blessed to have uh again these talented and gifted employees who love the lord yeah. and it, it comes from their heart you know so they're willing to um you know to to take the time to do it well and to yeah. uh, put give it their best always and you know yeah. i appreciate the graphics mm -hmm. especially you know, when I was a Protestant mm -hmm. and I would watch EWTN, mm -hmm. the graphics mm -hmm. before the mass. Oh, yeah. You know, and they had the music and mm -hmm. they had the nail yeah. and the breaking of the bread. Mm -hmm. And you're seeing all those graphics. And, I mean, as a Protestant, you're looking to go, wow, the Catholics really believe that. Mm -hmm. What is it that they really yeah. believe? Yeah. And you really, you know, and now, now they're going to have mass. Now they're going to have, yeah. you know, the celebration mm -hmm. of Jesus there. And it's, it's really... All those images you mm -hmm. think they aren't important, they really are of important. Course. And you yeah. know what I used to hate? And I used to tell mm -hmm. Marcus this his music on the mm -hmm. journey home, yeah. you know, <laughs> that music he put. I'd be like, oh, I hate that music. Uh -huh. But but now and then, you know, just the images, you know, going down that mm -hmm. road and it I'm brings thinking, you there. Hey, yeah. There I am, yeah. I'm yeah. on the road and they're playing music and now I'm yeah. singing my song. It makes you feel a part of it. You know, yeah. you feel like you're traveling with the person yeah. and all 
I often say to Joy, you know, mm. sometimes we've got a little bit of time, mm. so we might watch some TV or do something. And mm. so many times what you see on other channels, mm. you know, mm. it's just not all that attractive. And I think we're really yearning for beauty. Oh, yes. Yeah, I really yeah. want to, I just want to see something beautiful besides mm. you, honey. Yes. And, uh, and I think EWE 10 is putting that forth. You're, Our you're, spots, you're the work that we do, on. it's absolutely mm -hmm. beautiful. Yeah. And, and it lifts you up to something higher and it mm -hmm. makes you yearn and then our shows hopefully fit mm -hmm. what those people are and looking for. You know, you're getting the truth, the, the goodness, and the beauty of God mm -hmm. all, all at once. And through, through EW10 communicating and through the various arts and yep. stuff like that, yeah. oh, it's just, it's amazing. All the images for yeah. praying the rosary, mm -hmm. and then when all the yeah. brothers and priests get together before the Mass mm -hmm. and they have you yeah. all saying the prayers. Yeah. It you. Yeah. yeah, oh, it's yeah. so, so, so moving. beautiful. Yeah. Father, yeah. close us out in a prayer and all a right. blessing. Okay. Lord God Almighty, we thank you for the tremendous work you're doing in and through EWTN. We ask you, God, to continue to bring increase to all you're doing here, to bring us favor, Lord, and to provide abundantly for all of our needs. Yes. We ask your blessings upon all of our employees and all that they do. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Remember, we're all family. It's a beautiful faith, mm -hmm. and EWTN seeks to bring it to you and your loved ones. God bless you. Bye now. Good job. Good.